my concern, I, I've, I've been dealing in, in the greenhouse industry for many, many years, and I see this very inefficient use of space because we grow on one horizontal plane in the greenhouse, but we heat the entire cubic space. So first became an energy concern. How do we conserve this energy? And the simplest way was to go vertical. And then as, as the system has evolved, by going vertical, I can minimize water usage. And in the system that you, you know, saw here, uh, we use 1 20th the amount of water that is used in conventional agriculture, which nowadays is becoming a very big issue. So we recycle everything that doesn't go directly into the plant, goes back into the system. Uh, the, the other thing is, as we, this energy thing comes along, we are importing so much of our food. It comes from all over the world, and it's like if you live in New York, your lettuce is coming from Southern California. We're flying at 2,000 miles or something. It's just, it's not going to work. We've got to go back to urban agriculture where you, you are consuming food that is grown locally. Unfortunately, all the farmland we've built on, so there's no farmland left to grow it on. So it's finding a way to do intensive agriculture that is renewable and sustainable in an urban environment. I can have it on top of a building in New York, I can have it in the desert in Las Vegas, I can have it out in the desert in Dubai, I can have it uh, in a building, uh, I can have it in a basement by adding supplemental light. Uh, <laughs> I can grow it anywhere. I can put it in the Arctic, okay? I can put it anywhere you want it. And I can produce large quantities of quality material. Potatoes, carrots, beets. Uh, about the only thing that, that we would be limited on are large grain crops like wheat or corn, something like that. Uh, we're working on a rice project right now where we can grow rice in the system. Uh, we have strawberries. Uh, herbs of all varieties, lettuce, uh, spinach, uh, the, the crop list just goes on and on and on. Year-round production because we're in a controlled environment and the controlled environment offers us a number of other advantages. One, we can exclude pests so we have to use no pesticides to control insects on this material. Uh, of course because of the way it's grown uh, we don't have any weed crops, I mean weeds get in so we have no pesticides. Uh, the filtration system includes UV sterilization, so when the nutrients in the water are applied, they're completely clean. So we've eliminated that risk of E. coli contamination that we saw last year, uh, where you know I think five people died during that process. So that's one of the things we're trying to get to. It's very clean, locally grown crops that are very healthy for you.